Hello friends, welcome to our channel Kasthur Classes and in this particular video, I will be discussing some more concepts related to CSV file and its data analysis on that particular file in Python using pandas, okay. So in my previous video, I have discussed how you can read CSV file. So just here, I have taken one CSV file for example, that is this one, which is having uh, the file name as data and there are majorly four columns, country, age, salary and purchase. Countries are mainly France, Spain and Germany. Age uh, of the employees are taken, salary of the employees are taken and a particular product they have purchased or not, that categorical data we are taking here, okay. Now we have first, what we have done, we have first we have to first read the file csv file right and for that we will use read csv in pandas present in pandas in python right so import pandas as pd first of all and then e equal to pd dot read csv and then give the file location and then the file name data dot csv okay if i run in the e variable my data that is the csv file data is going to be stored right now you can clearly see there are actually 10 rows. Now if you are having one large CSV file and you want to get how many number of rows present in the file, simply what you can do, you can use len like we have used for getting the length of the list or getting the length of a string, we have used len, right? Similarly for getting the number of rows present in a data frame, you can use len and if you run, you will be getting 10. And here you can clearly see in our data set actually there are 10 rows okay first row is for the column names excluding that there are 10 data rows okay now suppose you want to get only the column names present in our data frame okay so you just need to write e dot columns okay if you run see you will be getting country age salary and purchased okay those are actually four columns of our data set or data frame okay and you want to get how many number of columns that is what is the number of columns or how many columns are present in our data frame you need to write len of e dot columns okay if you run you will be getting four and as you have seen already uh, in our data set there are four columns country age salary and purchase now one very important property is filtering of data frame okay see this is our data set right suppose in our in your data analysis you require only the information related to country germany so now you need one csv file which is having only data related to employees of germany for that you have to apply filtering filtering is nothing but you might have studied in electronics and communication engineering already that filtering is nothing but removing the unnecessary things and taking our required part okay so that's what is filtering so here also we require only those rows which are having country name as germany right so what we will be doing we will be making one new variable es this will store basically our filtered result then give the data frame name which is e and then you want to filter right based on what country so you need to apply your condition on country column so how you can extract a particular column from a data frame you need to write like this e dot country c o u n t r y okay all right and that should be equal to germany right that only you want so equal to equal to for comparison as you know we should use equal to equal to operator and if you run in your es data frame only the data related to germany is going to be stored as here you can see germany 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 2 4 and 8 right so see 2 4 and 8 only in these three rows germany related data is present right now you want to make one cs new csv file only using this particular three data set okay what you can do to read csv file we use read csv and to convert a data frame to CSV file, we will be using two CSV, okay? First write the data frame name, then dot two, okay? Then CSV, then open parenthesis, give the address, uh, that is file location. Suppose I am giving the same file location, just I will be changing my file name. I will be writing Germany dot csv this will contain only the information related to employees of germany that's all keep don't forget to keep this inside quotation now if i run and as a result 
we will be having one jarmani.csv file stored in c user satyadra mukherjee in desktop okay let us go to desktop and check c if i go to desktop here one new csv file is created if i open this let's check whether it contains only information related to germany or not yes see here you can clearly see countries only germany age salary and purchasing status related to only employees belonging to germany is stored so like this using two csv you can convert a data frame to csv file in python okay so this is all for my this video i hope the filtering on the data frame how to import csv file how to export data frame to csv file these concepts how to get the number of columns how to get number of rows uh, on a, in a present in a particular data frame these concepts are clear to you this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful please like share and comment and if you have not subscribed our channel till now don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching